Hello and welcome. This exciting episode is a yellow fabric haul. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect jacket. Well, not all the fabrics are yellow, but I just thought, yay, sunshine. So I've also got my yellow flower jacket out because I was mentioning it in a few videos that I just finished making. I made these in June 2022 and it's uh, the black, the base jacket is just plain black and it's got twice as much netting as usual and then I just beaded on these bead clusters and all the flowers so they're all individually sewn on it took forever but I absolutely love it okay time to focus on these gorgeous fabrics now which one shall I pluck out first any mini ooh flowers this is a cotton lawn and it's sort of um, tropical flowers and it's just so vintage. I absolutely love it and I've got enough for just a plain standard vintage shirt and yeah, it's just so pretty. Like it's not bright but it is yellow and I just thought that's the perfect, like it's a little bit subtle but it's also, you know, yellow flowers. And yeah, I just love it. I bought it, I had this vintage simplicity shirt in mind, but I also really like a couple of the Vogue ones, this one in particular. So I'm not really, I'm not completely convinced that the vintage one is the right one, but we shall see. Because, yeah, I don't like darts, basically. But um, you can just not do the darts, I suppose. Anyway, so I want to make a shirt out of that one. And I think just because of the vintage style of the print it's going to look vintage anyway and this is a polka dot it's just adorable it is a little ray of sunshine i love it so it's yellow with white polka dots on it and it's just so cute so it's a quilting cotton so it's a little bit narrower and so i had to get a full two yards of this and again it's just going to be a shirt i mean i have this gorgeous bug fabric that you'll see next and if i wanted to do a dress with two fabrics this and the bug one would be absolutely fabulous together so yeah this may be that but otherwise the default is that it will be a lovely long sleeve shirt just plain sleeves not puffy this is a lace it is so very bright yellow it's not the most expensive lace but it's pretty decent and it was on the remnants table just one yard and yeah, I was like, oh, I could make a jacket out of that. I could definitely make a jacket out of that because one of the nettings that I buy is um, this fluoro yellow color. And if I put that underneath, this would just sing. It would actually, instead of making it look more fluoro, it would tone it down a little and make it look more lemon and creamy rather than fluoro. So I think that it would be great. And yeah, so the Vogue's uh, 15... 36 or the Vogue 7975. I'm not sure which yet, but yeah, or I could put white underneath it, but in my opinion, that kind of makes it feel more bright. I think if you put the fluoro yellow underneath, it sort of brings it back to a sort of creamier color. And I just love the daisies in it. I think they're so pretty, but also the stamens on the flowers. So I'll cut out all the pieces. This is the plan. And then with the leftover scraps, I'll fussy cut them out and use them as applique on the actual finished jacket. But mainly it will be beads. So I've got a lot of seed beads and bugle beads in yellow. So it'll be really detailed beading and take a lot of time, but I think it'd be worth it. I've also got this, which could go on to that lace that I just showed you, but I don't know. I bought it because it's black and white. I was gonna show this in the black and white um, fabric haul, but then I thought, no, better the yellow. So it's got Alstroemeria flowers on it and um, some other blooms as well, but it was the Alstro that got me. They're just so beautiful. And yeah, so all these sort of, floral illustrations and then some of them have been like it looks like there's watercolor painting on them and it's digital print it's just really interesting and I've got two yards of it so I, I was originally thinking that I would make this McCall's dress out of it which I normally do with two yards but now I don't know I'm not sure it's a bit too white for me see this is what it looks like under this and um, yeah, maybe I'll pair it with another fabric. I really love the black and white dresses, the long ones that I made with, um, so they're four yards, the one on the left and the one on the right. And it's got 
two yards of raccoon, two yards of black with the lilies on it, and then the one on the left is two yards of quilting with greyish with leaves on it and two yards of the other Christmas quilting fabric. And I really like both of those. So maybe I could find another yellow fabric and sort of mix it up so it wasn't just a full-on white dress because I have I am really, really pale and I just, I don't know. If I made a an opera skirt, like one of those simple um, skirts with just basically you sew the seam together, like the two ends together, cut a waistband, then sew the whole thing together in a loop and then pleat it down and you make like a longish skirt. I think it'll work well with that because it's a cotton sateen, but it's a really heavy one. So yeah, now that I have that fabric, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So I'll just, yeah. Oh, this on the other hand, it, this is another remnants table special. It's, um, I think it's about a yard and a half and it's an Italian fabric. So it's like Dolce Gabbana style ex designer and it's got cabbage um, butterfly on there and all these beautiful open garden roses and some Queen Anne's lace. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's a jacquard. So what I thought I would do, well, my first instinct was the Vogue 7975 and to just have the flowers down the front two panels and then um, on the sleeves just do lots of beading. But if I use this Berta 6123, then it has the dolman sleeves so I can do the, like, run it so that the um, the arms and the neck piece and, the like, the, the chest bit, all the flowers run along that and then it's just the white bit with a moth on the sort of torso of it. I think I would like that better. So I think I'll cut out the pieces of the dolman sleeve jacket, the Berta 6123 in the backing fabric and then sort of move them around and try and find the best placement. Because yeah, if I cut it up in the Vogue 7975, like the Chanel style jacket, traditional fitted one, then the pieces of that jacket are so small that I'll end up cutting up all the beautiful flowers. Whereas if I do the dolman sleeve jacket, it is baggier, but it means I get to keep the whole of the run of flowers and I'll have like a garland from one wrist right across the back of the neck, right down to the other wrist. And I just think that would be gorgeous. So yeah, and of course, lots of beautiful clear glass beads with a little bit of silver on them, I think would be great. Now this, I actually had this for like, a year now and um it's a muslin or a gauze it's a very thin cotton it's beautiful and it's got these bumblebees all over it and I absolutely love it I bought enough to make a a shirt out of it and I was going to just have pockets over the chest part so it would be fine to wear on its own or with like just a plain singlet underneath but it has just occurred to me that I have white cotton for lining dresses and I could do a fully lined dress and I could turn this into an absolutely adorable dress like this McCall's one it's white um what I don't like about this dress here is the way that um it's you can see the back that it's unlined so yeah I was just thinking how gorgeous would this be if it was a dress fully lined dress so that is what I'm going to do with that so I'm really glad I got that out it was sort of st stuck between other bits of fabric and I forgot about it and yeah so I'm going to turn that into a dress and I'm really excited about it this is a tweed and it's just one yard of fabric and I don't know it kind of reminded me of a snake skin and you know how some snakes sort of had that they look like um, heirloom corn and it's, yeah, I don't know what it is. And I just thought it's really interesting. It's, um, yeah, plus I have a lot of um, black beads, like black glass beads that are sort of smoky. And I just thought, I don't know, it's unusual and it's not normally what I would go for, but I really quite like it. So my plan is to make a Chanel cardigan style jacket out of that one and then, yeah, beat it over all over embellishment. Next, we have two 
um, cottons and these are absolutely gorgeous. I love these. They are a heavier fashion cotton so um, for trousers but I think I'm going to make a dress out of them. I originally bought them like this mountainside with the autumnal trees with the you know falling leaves. I bought this one to make that simplicity dress because I absolutely love that dress and I've got it in loads of colors but it's just such a good dress that yeah I wanted this one it's just the most beautiful navy and then it's got these autumn trees over it I just love it and that's why I originally bought it but I also bought this other one and it's kind of the same colors but like <laughs> it's the opposite it's an extreme close-up of all these flowers and autumn leaves and yeah, I kind of like the juxtaposition, but sometimes I kind of think it's a bit jarring. So I bought this one as well. And I, I mean, I could make it up in two different dresses, like the same pattern, but two different dresses. Or I could combine them together and make a, a long one. So with a, a four yard dress. So um, basically the same dress, but down to my boots or my shoes and yeah i just think that would be beautiful oh that pattern is mccall's not simplicity uh, but i just love the sleeveless version of it it's so pretty and yeah i do like the juxtaposition of the extreme close-up and the mountain side of i just think it would be lovely my only reservation is that the reason i bought the mountainside autumnal leaves one was because it will make such a chic dress but i guess i've got of the plain black one and a liberty print one and they're good enough to wear like to you know work sort of occasions and this one I think it'll be good yeah I'm gonna make it up both of them together in a, a four yard dress I think it will be really beautiful and because they're full fashion width they're gonna it's gonna be a nice full sort of skirt to the dress they're just gorgeous. I love these fabrics together. They are so, so completely beautiful. I think it's the inky navy blue background that I particularly love. It just sets off those autumnal leaves and colours beautifully. Okay, next we have, oh, what is it? It's a camouflage, but it's also a denim. It's pretty awesome. So I bought three yards of this because I want to make a bolero style jacket, so a really cropped jacket, as well as a dress. So the two yard dress that's I absolutely, it's my current favourite dress. It would just look so vintage if I pair it with, this is the Vogue 1536 jacket, but maybe without the collar, and then it will look like one of those 1960s dress with matching jacket combinations, but it's going to be in yellow camouflage. I just thought it would be really cute and quirky and I don't know. I just think it would be adorable. So that was my plan for that. And obviously I'll wear the jacket separately and I'll beat it, but you'll still be able to tell that they're the same fabric. So yeah, I'm not sure this is me trying to decide which way it should go. But also it's a whole three yards and it's incredibly wide. It's denim fashion width, so like 60 inches. So I could make a coat out of it. I've got loads of coat patterns and I want to make, um, you know, lots of different coats and jackets next year. So, I mean, I could do that. But yeah, the reason I bought it was because I thought it would just look those 1960s matching sets where they have a sleeveless dress and a tiny little bolero matching it. I just love them so much. And here's my bug fabric. It's so cute. I got eight yards of this because it was in the clearance section. I don't know why. I guess they thought if people would love bugs and then probably a few customers freaked out that they were little critters all over the fabric or something. I don't know. It was in the clearance section. I was like, yay. And I think some of the, the ones with the pink and white stripes, they look like candy stripers, you know, volunteer helpers in um, hospitals. Anyway, um, they sent me a five yard cut and a three yard cut. So with the three yard cut, I used two yards to make this dress, which I absolutely love. And then the other yard, I cut it up into the pieces for a short sleeve shirt, but I haven't actually sewn it together yet. And I also had a few bits left over to, so I was going to make a ruffle at the bottom of this, the skirt of this dress, but I don't know, I kind of like it the length that it is. So I might keep those strips for a layer cake dress 
because I'm all, uh, there's always a layer cake dress that I'm just about to make. I love them. But I do think I might add pockets to this one. Maybe because I've got candy stripers in mine with the aprons. And I don't know, it just feels like it should have pockets. But I do love these bugs. I love them so much. So I think with some scraps of fabric, I might um, just bead it and turn it into a brooch. Because some of them are just absolutely fabulous. And I've got lots of bugle beads and glass beads that I might, yeah beat it up into a storm and also one of them is it's a ladybug which reminded me that I have a piece of red wool that I haven't I'm going to make into a jacket and I could turn it into a ladybug jacket how cute would that be maybe a little bit too cutesy I don't know like just do black blobs of black beads on it I don't know maybe cute maybe not I don't know. Anyway, so um, that's my bug fabric and I've still got loads of it left. So yeah, that's why I was thinking maybe if I put some of that yellow with white polka dots with the bug fabric, I can do a patchwork dress where you have columns of fabric and strips of fabric and also um, triangles of fabric or wedges of fabric and you sort of mix them together. So maybe the two different yellows or I have a pink fabric that sort of reminds me of that candy striper bug. Anyway, the I, I talked about it in a sewing vlog ages ago where I was talking about all the patchwork dresses that I wanted to make. And yeah, I still really want to make that one. And I think I should make it out of proper fabric before I um, do it out of scraps of fabric, leftover fabric. So um, this is my yellow bug dress with my <laughs> flower jacket over the top. This outfit is a lot. It's perhaps a little too much, but I love these combinations together. I have this metallic fabric in um, well, a couple of different colours, but I'm thinking this dress would just go with all my most outrageous jackets. And yeah, I really do love this combination, especially with this tie in all the bright florals. I just think it looks fabulous with a pair of um, sort of mid-brown Chanel cowboy boots. It will just look so eccentric and maybe my Valentino handbag in fluoro green. It will just look so adorable. It will look like a ray of sunshine. So yeah, it's very cute. It's completely over the top, but absolutely adorable. Sometimes you've just got to be the ray of sunshine when it's all doom and gloom. And yeah, clearly I love this outfit. I took enough footage of it. So there you go. Those are my, some mostly yellow, but some other color fabrics and all the things that I uh, want to make out of them. But, um, oh, this dress, it is so adorably hilarious. I love it. It bit, uh, yeah, I can see myself stomping around it. It really needs pockets. I love those bugs. I, yeah, I definitely want to make, um, maybe I'll make a handbag out of that fabric. And yeah, I mean, look how gorgeous it's going to look with my Valentino handbag. But I could make a, yeah, sort of a Dior mini Lady Di handbag size and just bead the bugs in it. So the whole thing is beaded and you sort of just get the suggestion of the bugs. That would be quite cute. Oh, my beautiful flower jacket. I really need to make another flower jacket. I made the first one in yellows because then the stakes wouldn't be so high because yellow isn't my favorite color, but I'll wear it, but it's not my absolute favorite color. So I wasn't like afraid of wrecking it or anything like that. But yeah, as soon as I finished it, I was like, why did I make yellow? Why didn't I make it in one of my favorite colors? But I mean, it's adorable. It's completely adorable. But yeah, I really want to make it in, I've got enough flowers to make several different ones. Each of them will be one color. And um, yeah, I haven't got around to it yet though. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this fabric haul and me chatting about my plans for all these fabrics. And yeah, my little show and tell of my bug dress. I am so thrilled with the way that this turned out. And obviously the keyhole blouse was a blouse and I just sort of cropped it at the um, fit line and turned it into a dress. And yeah, 
It looks so cute with that jacket. I love it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've been inspired to rummage around in your fabric stash and find the brightest, most colourful, most eccentric fabrics that you have and to make them up into garments to wear and to enjoy. Okay, happy sewing. I really need to make myself another floral jacket. They are just spectacular. But they just take so much work. But I mean, they are so completely worth it. Okay. Happy sewing.